Now we're recording, so I'm playing this keyboard and mouse now because this minigame is so much faster. Ah, oh, but you got rotten food. I mean, that's mildly inevitable. I wish there was a way to discard rotten food. It, it doesn't actually... So all it does is it hurts your time. Oh, And if I'm doing keyboard that. and mouse, I don't have to move the cursor around, so it's not so bad. Um... <laughs> Anyway, salt. it looks like we, we got a lot about of cows before, veggies. Yeah. Cows, cows like to lick because of salt. Yeah, it's it's why I, a lot of animals do. I think aren't there even salt licks that you can intentionally put out for deer? Yeah, and such too. Yep. Let's see. I don't want to upgrade any of these? I, mean, I guess I'll pick up. I guess we'll pick up those. Hopefully we get we get to unlock more devices as we play this game. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. Story mission. Ashen Plains. I don't necessarily... I think don't... we already read this lore. Can you go on the next one? Uh, sure. Oh, wait. What? What is this about a holy empire? Before the opening of the el elemental gates, humanity was embroiled in a great war in which the holy empire of Grunhold and its allies attempted the genocide of the Shiala peoples because of religious differences. Huh. I wonder who the Shiala are. Dunno. Because we haven't really... Uh, at least our character... Peony, at the very least, she hasn't really talked about much, history too much. Nope. Talked much about the history. <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at? Fire, 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 fire. Nature, nature. All right. So we want water, and we want fire. We don't really want our barn owl. What were the elements that you're facing? Fire I know, I and saw nature. A lot of fire. Ah, uh, yeah. I was reading reviews of this game. There's a number of kind of negative ones uh, talking about how, like, you know, your summons level unequally and, like, a bunch of other stuff. And I think they just, like, totally patched that out almost immediately. I was mm -hmm. I was quite taken aback reading the reviews, and I'm like, that's not right. That's not how this works. It's like, oh, of course. Wait, there's another variety of dragon? There's a green one over there. Oh, yeah. Also, there's dragon fire malt. squirrels. Yep. Yeah, so we're we're firing or uh, finding the fire variants or the nature variants, depending. Mm -hmm. Give him regen. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you decide just to use Chico and Hyachin? Yeah. The the nature character is decent. Uh Arowana. She's yeah. good. She she's a very good damage dealer, but she's not a very good uh for utility otherwise. So great for taking out things at very long range, like cannons and traps and so on and so forth. Not terribly necessary. Most of the time, though. Let's see. Luckily, fire move. Uh, fire creatures do full damage against other fire creatures. I really appreciate uh, that. Mm -hmm. It's not as though they have a resistance. Nope. Pokemon uh, led me astray. Or at least assuming this is Pokemon is the wrong way to do it. Yeah, Pyachin is just too good of a healer. Mm -hmm. I was trying I was trying to use Pyachin for uh or I was I was using marijuana for uh, just like a bunch of the grindy missions. And it worked, but there were definitely a couple moments where I'm like, man, I just wish I had a really good healer. Maybe eventually we'll get a summon that d has, like, as strong of a heal as Biochin does, but well, I also, it looks sincerely like we, doubt it. 
we will have access to at least three characters in the future, right? Yes. Two more characters? Uh, two, two potentially. More. The other thing that I didn't realize, but we actually uh, are going to get access to weapons. Mm. Um, so, uh, let's see. Give me a second. To mess this guy up. So weapons actually change your character. Ooh, that's some damage. Uh, weapons actually change your character's uh, like abilities mm -hmm. and your element. Oh, interesting. Yep. So, I'm I'm curious how that's going to roll. Ouch. That's a shockwave. Yeah, it hurt. Now, did that take up my... Oh, it did take up my dragon. Yeah. Dude man just does way too much damage. Even with... Well, I guess Chico covering does not actually cover slam. Oh, uh, it's fine. The extra bonuses from perfect wins are nice, but not actually that necessary. Oof. Chico's about to go down. Uh. Is he still set on guard too, so that he's obligated to guard? Yeah, it's kind of fine. Have you actually been utilizing your water creatures against the fire ones? Sort of. I haven't seen you really use an attack, though. Uh, let's see. Mainly because my two water creatures are support, and they're the only ones with the heal. But also... I don't really need my water creatures to attack. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah! Was that because of a chain? Uh, it was her Soul Nova ability. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, does a lot. There you go. Yeah, it's mainly just that one guy does crazy damage. Uh, let's see. Hit the Unilana, hit that guy. Let's hit the Unilana. There we go. Yeah, not too much. Oh, I'm seeing some lava flows in the background too, and some crystals. Uh, I think that's just yeah. I think that's just crystals. No, 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 no. It's so that's obsidian. It, it definitely oh, yeah, looks yeah, yeah. like it's lava, but then there's some crystals poking out of it. Is it that's long hardened? Let's let's just do howl. Oh, <laughs> a rally howl. Let's see. I'm just gonna grab the warrior scroll. Yep. Don't do that. Ow. That hurts. Yeah, so I could have Piachin attack. But Piachin does like a, a 40 damage heal, which is just is too good. There he goes. Mm -hmm. It's just so much more worth it to get the heal instead. However, the bunny isn't quite as useful. Oh, I hadn't realized that you'd brought your own salamander along. Yep. I mean, I figured he would. He'd be good against the nature, nature type enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. At this point, it's just the trolls, isn't it? Yep. Well, they're probably gonna summon more. Let's see, how far into the game are we? Uh, I don't know, really. Yeah, I. after every session I look up how long to beat Fate Tactics and there, no one has reported a, a victory of any kind, so. Uh, that means that either it's an absurdly long game or no one's really bothered to input their findings. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I, I don't know. Let's see. Supposedly the game is 60 hours. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh! Does it, does it depend on just how long it takes for you to fight through these scenarios? Or is it because there's just so many missions? I mean, the battles are definitely kind of long. Mm-hmm. I... 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 Regardless, I've still been impressed with at least the amount of story that they have at this point. I hope that... I'm having continue. a good time with it, but 60 hours is a bit scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually we don't play games that go that long. Because our sweet spot for video game length tends to be what? Between 5 and 20 hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because usually when a series is getting to episode 50, if we're still sticking with half hour to 45 minute segments, yeah, that's a lot. That's, yeah, that's, that's actually too much. I... Whereas if you're playing a game that's only five hours long, that's like a ten episode series. That's... that's not bad. I mean, yeah, that's... That can even be a little short for certain series. Like, I think my Orcs Must Die series is gonna be a nice... nice length. But 60 hours is always just really scary, because it's just... Ooh, this is a good one. After the opening of the elemental gates, the centaur tribes became very insular to avoid the many conflicts happening in the world around them. Failing to adapt led to their population dwindling until only one centaur tribe remained. Wait, but didn't that centaur tribe just get decimated? So is Orowantis the last, if not the one of... Well, there's maybe one traitor. But would that mean that... that they're... There are only the two left? Potentially? Wonder what's up. I, I was just trying to look up how long to beat it. But there's... No page. Mm-hmm. Well, onwards! Now, are these battles just to get to the next zone? Yeah. I just wanted to know where we were in the quest line. Or quest map. If it's 60 hours long, that would be 90, 40 minute long episodes. Yep. It's always just a little spooky. Mm-hmm. Like, I, lo I love me some games, but it has to be a really good game to hold my interest for that long. And I find, I mean, even this right now, with the whole, uh, you know, just fight a random battle. Eventually, there are some mechanics that aren't enough to capture your interest for that period of time. Yeah. I, it is very... Ooh, there's a phoenix. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. It, it is very <laughs> rare for me to find a game that has depth of mechanics to keep me interested for longer than 20 hours. Um, and honestly, there are very few games that even have depth of mechanics to really justify too much past 10. Uh, it's just they keep you going because reasons. And so some of them can have really good stories uh, that'll keep you interested. Mm -hmm. I find stories tend to be one of the primary threads that continue to tug you along through, a, a, through all the levels, through all the zones, just so that you can see what happens next. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, what's to... What kind of incentive would you have to finish a series? Or a game, I should say. I mean, it depends. Like, uh, Creeper World, which I, I finished recently, was definitely one of those games where I loved it so much I kept going for the bonus levels. Hmm. Oh, I suppose another thing that can get people to keep playing is uh, if there are achievements. Yeah. 
So people will go out of their way to fulfill certain requirements or, you know, battle a hundred of this monster to get a special item. And people will do that. Oh, absolutely. I've been playing Xenoblade 2 and the story is the only thing keeping me going. Xenoblade 2 did an all right job. The pacing of the story was decent, but I think I checked out real hard on the side content. Yeah, so things to keep people playing when it's a long game. Story, definitely achievements or special unlocks that you can only get through completionism. Yeah, but even then, like, I had to oh, do that I with played... uh, Final Fantasy X2 and it was just miserable. Like, bonus bosses and stuff is cool, but anything that requires you to play, like, a, a second playthrough to unlock all this stuff is just like, Aah. Oh, yeah, I don't really like the forced New Game Plus scenarios. I do admit, when it came to the old school collectathon games of the late 90s, I went out of my way to get some of those extra items. Just so that I could see that, you know how they would have those pages where you enter a world and it's, you've got so many out of so many of this and so many out of so many of that. And yeah. you just want to see that be 10 out of 10 and 20 out of 20. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I... Because in a way that's like a checklist. That that works for me with Metroidvanias, especially because the extra power-ups actually have, like, very direct benefits. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There we go. So no one talks about Xenoblade Chronicles X. Why? Because it's unfinished. It literally ends on a massive cliffhanger, and I don't want to talk about Xenoblade Chronicles X until it's... Do they ever intend to finish it? Uh, also, what just happened? No! Oh, give me a second. What just happened? It doesn't seem to have stopped on yeah, the stream. Yeah, uh, the Epic Games was like, you have friend requests. It's like, get out of here. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, how can, how can Epic send you a friend request if you're not in Epic, unless you were playing? I, three Orcs out of 10 was on earlier. Epic. Huh. That I, I desperately... Oh, are there three trolls? Uh -oh. Wow. But you would think that would be one of the first notifications that you would turn off. I don't think I can. You don't think you, you can't turn off friend request notifications? I don't think so. That must get so annoying, especially for YouTubers and people who are sought it's out. pretty annoying, yeah. Especially because I publicized my my username for friend request. Well, no, not even that. I publicized my my username so people can can buy games. Yeah, through your like because it's my page. referral code. Yeah, your referral code. Mm -hmm. The the other thing is uh. Let's see if we do it here. Okay, still doesn't get this guy, but that's fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to have all of them knocked out. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I, I had also publicized my username so people could play... What was that monster? Dauntless. There we go. Dauntless. Uh... Dang. Um... I guess I'll just destroy this guy. Goodbye. Though he can be potentially revived by another creature. Yeah, also, but they have to come close to revive him. Ooh. He'll actually get back up in a couple of turns, but I could, I could kill him if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I know there's a bonus for. Uh, oh, that guy's getting extra range. How much further can he shoot that cannon? cannon? I don't actually know if the cannon gets extra range. Mm -hmm. Shoot. You can't tell, or you forgot the command for it. Well, I'm using a uh, keyboard and mouse this time around. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. I'll just uh, make it work. Whose turn is it? It's Biogen's. 
There we go. Easy peasy. No, thank you. Ooh, wait. Is it a card for a troll? I apparently. You can get a troll card? Apparently so. Well then. I was I was honestly unaware. Oh, what? What just happened? Oh, did she get teleported? Where is she? Oh. She's over oh, there. Oh no. She got she got thrown in the lava. Like the lava disappeared beneath her and then she was brought back out on the other side of the board. Well, that's That yeah, that looks like unstable ground, do you see? Yeah, I can I can see it now. So you shouldn't have had her standing there. I didn't know it would teleport her right next to I mean, the cannon. It, I mean, it's rumbling. It it looks like there's lava seeping through it. I. Okay, good. They at least can't shoot Peony. If we're lucky, nothing comes to execute her, but... Let's see, right-clicking shows the radius of units with mouse and keyboard. Huh, I was trying that. Didn't seem to work. But he's gonna hit her. Yep. Yep. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, uh, that that's wasn't enough. Still a problem, though. And if it was any if it was anybody else, I could have just used the card. Mm-hmm. It's really annoying. Is there you don't have anyone that can increase their speed, right? Nope. Yeah, I'm doing right click. Oh there you go. Oh there we go. So you you're safe on that spot, correct? Yes. Which means I should be able to pick her up next round. Mm-hmm. Oof. Fine-ish. You see he's going in more range. Are they both going to attack Peony? Oh, no. You might not even be able to get it's to okay. her It's okay. I'll get to her. I might not. Uh, let's see. This guy needs to die. Yeah, crit. Yeah, why don't you defeat it? Okay. Oh, what did it leave behind? An egg. An egg. Does that mean it gets to come back? Yep, looks like it. So that egg will hatch. There we go. You might get hit by the it's fine. cannon when you need to end, but yeah. Ouch. And that... It's more important to get Peony back up. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Because if she dies, then you lose level entirely, right? Yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. It's got rough. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, you didn't get a card for it. No card for the Phoenix. It's fine. Give him some extra HP. Let's have him kill that. 
it gets him some HP. Just wallop him. Oh! Ooh! That's bad. Ah, uh, no, no, ah. Uh. That, the, the. I have to back off for yeah. now. Yeah, God, I have to back off for now, and then you have to. Oh, okay. Wait, We're what? We're still in the running. Oh, so she's leaving. Yeah. Does that mean all your summons are gone? No, my summons are still there. Interesting. Okay. Okay, the so it's not instant death. Yeah. But yeah, no spells. Yeah, definitely not my favorite situation. Ah, uh, he just summoned another lizard. Gecko. <sighs> yeah, and, and these guys hit, like, tanks. Chico. Yep, poor Chico, poor Piachin. And now we're in the uncomfortable death spirals situation. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I killed that other guy. And unfortunately, these guys are real slow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I. Oh, I don't have my ultimate ready. Mm hmm. Though it looks like there's an ultimate orb just sitting down there. That's okay. He's got his ultra now. Mm hmm. There goes Piachin. Oh, no, not Piachin. Ah. Mm hmm. Yeah, if I there's no way Peony should have been teleported where Peony got teleported. E yeah. Okay. And it was all because she had descended into the lava. I don't believe the lava flows in that direction either, so it's not necessarily something that's built into the landscape environment. I believe these guys hurt. He is hurt, but he's not hurt enough. I don't want to kill that guy. It's so close. Yep. So close. And these guys all have ranged attacks, so I can't do the counterattack. Mm-hmm. And there's no RNG for, like, a crit, right? Nope. Stop summoning things. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Well, that took care of it. Yeah, we we might make it out. Nope. There goes Piachin. No. It's yeah, okay. Gets revived. Sort of okay. Summons more creatures. Yep. Real I, annoying. I think this is a. I think this is a bust. Yeah, but I don't want to give up. Mhm. Mm That's interesting. Usually, you'd be the one to. Because we we unlock new things. Gosh, this Grumble Bunny is, Bunny is so, gosh darn slow. Mhm. Mm They just keep summoning more. We yep. really need to take the trolls themselves down. I'm trying.
Okay, there goes one. Yep, they revive. Okay, good. Grumble Bunny heals itself. Will the Grumble Bunny be able to do a lot more damage since it's water type? Yeah. If I can get the opportunity for it to do so. Ah, oh, he has his ultimate now. That's no good. But if you prevent him from using his ultimate, then... Do you know yeah. Because I think one issue that you have is that... That, that other guy has can waste a turn reviving him. But you can't afford to let him have that move get let off. Yeah, and they're just going to keep but reviving revive him. him. Well, that will... Yeah. Hmm. The other problem is I really need... Both of them to get down. But you also need to heal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How much? He needs four hits to die. Mm hmm. Just gonna do that. Ah, uh, another summon. And he's going to... He's going to ultimate. Which is going to do like a hundred something damage. Oh, check out your salamander. Wait, no, your salamander lived? Yeah, salamander's got guts, which is great. Oh, hey, Chico has his ultimate ability. Yeah, he does. Oh, evade. This is so shitty. It's funny, you gotta... Oh, no, that was your own card, of course. Oh, the bunny barely has any... Yeah. And the ultimate's ready on that other guy. Can you defend? Can. Ain't worth it. But yeah, I, I'm just, I'm still uh, residually livid that it just teleported Peony right next to them. Because mm -hmm. then not only did you have to navigate and your character, I, I all think the way I'm also the still just kind of mad that these guys do a hundred damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got her. Like, it's not. It's not really okay to have a game where an enemy can just one-shot you. Well, this time you know not to stand on those three squares. Yeah, but it's still like, it should have mm -hmm. teleported Peony back in here. Not next to them. I don't know why it was next to them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's fine. I'll be okay. It's just... I... It... Ugh. And then that's also a ton of wasted time. Yeah, we've wasted this entire episode on this specific mission. Wonder if you ever played Duelist? Nope. And I have zero interest. I don't. I don't play uh, competitive games. Like I like the music for Duelist, but it's just I don't. I don't play competitive things against like anybody. Also, mm. didn't they like totally stop development on Duelist? I thought it was one of those that. It shut down for good recently. Which is part of the reason why I don't play them. Like, I, I might... I'm, I'm absolutely willing to play uh, Magic uh, the Arena. Or, like, maybe Hearthstone, but not really. I actually rather enjoyed... And, blah, not enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed Hearthstone. But... 
it, it was one of those things where I was doing the completely free to play version yeah. of it, which meant a lot of you can't necessarily grind per se, but you have to play through campaign missions to even get a couple of new packs of cards or just special cards. And your selection is limited by the hero that you choose. And if you want extra heroes and if you want all these extra cards, obviously you need to pay in a lot of money. I remember having a difficult time with one of the campaigns for that because the very you have to work your way all the way up to get to the like a, the last duel of the campaign and you have to do everything in one go or else you have to start over from the beginning yeah it was like a roguelike mode right and so the last guy he I, if i recall he had this play style where he was just supposed to make you draw cards to the point where you couldn't draw, they couldn't draw, and I think in, in Hearthstone, when you can no longer draw, you lose HP or you lose points. Yeah. So, I remember cycling through different heroes and character classes trying to figure out, you know, what character can bring back cards and what character can bring things back into their discard pile. What characters can defend against their abilities. It took a while. They have a name for it. It's called a mill boss. Hmm. It doesn't like card mill. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is kind of convenient. They're just sacrificing themselves repeatedly. Let's see. Oh, hey. That's worth it. Yeah, forcing your opponent to draw is milling. Yep. I can work in a lot of games and be really fun. Because I know that it's effective in card games where you have a hand limit. Because then what you can do is you can overload your opponent's hand and force them to discard cards taking cards out of their deck in general means that they will have less to draw later, which can run the risk of them just being capable of playing anything new, unless they have a means to reshuffle cards back. There we go. Owie. Ooh, whose card do you have sitting down there? Uh, let's see. It's the Earth variant of the dragon. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could get a lot of cards this round. Yep. I still want to get this guy's card. If I can get it. Mm-hmm. Alright, maybe you could get the Phoenix card, too. Oh, I'd love that. It's so cute. Yeah. I still kind of want to see if I can get the Troll card to see how effective they are. See, the bosses drop spells, not the actual face summon. Um, mm, maybe. Oops, nope. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, whoa, look at that explosion. And looks, he did drop a card again. Yep. Okay, good. It didn't take the card. Uh, let's see. 
just gonna get, have him go forward because he is the slowest creature. Okay, nope. Yeah. Okay. Magic the Gathering. Yeah, it's... I I only started playing Magic the Gathering in high school when the Lorwyn set had come out. And I was completely enamored with the art style for Lorwyn and the lore. Because if there's... A thing that Magic the Gathering does well is they do well to have an aesthetic and a style and even some characters within a set that tell a story and then of course they release a couple novels to go along with the expansions and such and now because I mean they're owned by Wizards of the Coast they're starting to make uh, Dungeons and Dragons settings with their Magic the Gathering settings yeah. find that interesting but I didn't play too, too much of it because unless you were working with within a, within a set, I found that people would mix and match things from several expansions to create unbeatable yeah. combinations. That's generally why for tournaments they limit, limit you to like certain the, the sets block. or something because they're not... That way it's a bit more balanced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because different blocks and different expansions have different mechanics that they experiment with. Yeah, I, I had a I had a cousin who had been playing Magic since like first generation, and his deck was oh. broke as all hell. Did you get the Phoenix card? Yes. <gasps> Ooh, nice. And it was super unpleasant to fight against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I always reiterate that one story where a guy on our dorm floor found out that I played some magic. And he's like, hey, do you want to, you know, face me? And I'm like, sure. You know, I, I brought my, what was it, my elf and my merfolk Lorwyn decks from way back when that I had. You know how they had, like, the pre-made decks? I had the pre-made decks, but I had added a number of other merfolk and elf cards from the same expansion um, that I had been able to get at a local game store. You know how they used to sell single cards for about yep. 10 cents and stuff? So I would complete my decks that way. But I, I, was very, I was a stickler to stay only within the set, only within the expansion uh, to keep the aesthetic of the deck whole, if you will. But nope, he had a really powerful deck with artifact, artifacts from, I don't know, really old sets through to some of the more recent content. And his was a deck where it just made you draw cards. And if your opponent drew a card, then they could draw a card and play something. And then they could destroy a creature on your side of the, f I could not even summon something without it being destroyed. I could not do anything without being forced to, to draw a card and trigger an effect on his end that would allow him to play more of his own cards. It was like my side of the field, I couldn't even put anything down, whereas his side was completely full. And I realized then, this is completely unfair. And sure, it's clever, but my decks had no chance because his was a mishmash of so many different things. And mine was just strictly within a particular set. Which would have been balanced if I perhaps faced another deck that was made within the set, but not that. Oh, and dang! And I pretty much refused to play Magic the Gathering again. So, uh. Except I didn't mind playing with your family when they did have that booster set for the draft. Yeah. And I actually won that time. Because <laughs> drafts are, are inherently, maybe not balanced, but... There's there's an equalization where you, you don't have a preconceived concept going in. And you have to work with what you're given. Or and what ev you everybody is at the mercy of the same RNG.
But for the deck that I had made when we did the draft, I, which expansion was it even? I, you know, I don't know. It had a lot of, it didn't have, a, maybe it had some dinosaurs in it. But. It ran into a tryhard and got obliterated. Yup. <laughs> and like, I met the guy. He absolutely knew better than to be a dick about this, but that didn't stop him. Uh-huh. Pretty much. But, so for the decks that we had constructed when we were playing with Carl and his father and brother, it was, uh, I had made a deck, I, I always favor green, black, and blue for my Magic the Gathering colors, but I noticed that as I was receiving cards that I was going to have to go for a green, black, and red deck. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I can do that. And the interesting thing was a new mechanic with that set was something called kick? Kicking? It's you could kick. not a new mechanic. Okay, fine. It was new to me. I don't remember ever having played it with Lorwyn. Or more, uh, like it was Lorwyn, Morning Tide, and Shadowmoor, and such. But in any case, so I noticed that I was receiving a lot of cards with Kick, and I was thinking to myself, "Okay, I've been I've been gathering the weird sapperling creatures that looked like mycenids. They were kind of fungusy." But then I was also getting a lot of these kick monsters and cards with kick effects. So I figured, okay, I'll I'll pick up some of these kick cards. And there was one character that had a really interesting effect. He was this archer. And he says, you know, every time you kick a monster, you can attack everyone's HP, like every opponent's HP uh, directly. And I was thinking to myself, this could be useful. I probably won't draw this guy, and he probably won't be able to survive long enough to use his ability, right? But he did, and it was excellent. And I won that way by doing indirect damage. Oh, the Gremlin Man. I can't thank you enough, little witch. My caravan would have suffered a lot of losses if not for you. Fire crystal jewelry made by Shylands is the most valuable item my caravan deals in. Nobles and Obadon pay a fortune for this stuff. We can't use magic ourselves, but apparently the way we cut and craft the crystals into jewelry amplifies its magical properties. Oh, before I forget, here's the talisman I promised you. You got a talisman. Thanks. What does it do? It's a short, short range teleportation spell. I usually use it when the caravan has to travel through the dry scar. Hmm? The dry scar? The Dry Scar is one of the major world tales in the region. It's situated right between here and Nikaido, the Ash Elf Kingdom. With the way things are now, I won't need to travel to Nikaido anytime soon. So that spell's all yours now. Hmm? I heard something about the Ash Elves when I was in Ingenchen. So, what's going on out there? We used to be on good terms with the elves. Recently, they've become increasingly strict with their borders. They stopped letting in any foreign trade and attack anything that gets too close. Farmable soil is scarce in this region, but we had to give up our farms that were anywhere near elven lands. Not for this trade caravan, we'd be out of options. As if that wasn't bad enough. Young girls have been going missing from our camps. Uh-oh. Missing? What happened to them? Not a clue. They're probably off with those elf boys. <clears throat> Every Tuesday morning, we wake up to find another girl has gone missing. Wait, Tuesday morning? What's significant about Tuesday? It's not what's significant about Tuesday. It's what's significant about Monday night. <laughs> also... They're really using Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, this used to be Earth. Oh, you're right. This this used to be Earth. You're correct. Huh. But what's so special about about Monday night? Unless it's just the moon 
or there's I a ritual know. going on? What's what's going on? Okay, keep going. All the girls here on edge, thinking that they could be next. That's enough talk on the subject for now. You'll scare the poor girl away. Scare her away? I bet there isn't a thing out there that could spook a witch. <sighs> You've seen Bologna, haven't you? That which scares me more than death itself. Who is Bologna? She's a witch working for the elves. Anyway, you must be tired. We can offer you a place to stay for the night. It's the least we can do for getting the caravan through to us. Remind me, I should uh, give the voice acting, the trailer voice acting, a shot with this voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so we got some new spells. Ooh, ooh, I want to see the new summons, too. Teleport. Fury. Okay, so a teleport. Teleports might be interesting. I wonder how far the teleport goes. Ooh, Gift of War is pretty good. Okay. Let's see, new summons. So we've got the Phoenix. Oh, that's cute. So it returns to egg when defeated, but then how do you get out of the egg? This creature's powers of rebirth make it... Wait, yeah. Make them tend to behave rather recklessly. They were once common all over Doro, but now are mainly found in the Ashlands. So... Ah, oh, but it's a three. It's not three a problem. Gem. There we go. Let's see. Traits. Chico is still obscene. <laughs> Alright. And food time. Oh. Is that cinnamon toast with jam on it? Yes, so. That's what it looks like to me. There we go. Raisin French toast. <gasps> I've never even tried that. Raisin French toast. What What do you think that would taste like? Because we, we love Dunno. our French toast, but to have raisins? Dunno. Hmm. Interesting. So. I do love raisin toast. For much of my life, every morning I woke up and I had some milk or orange juice and or tea and buttered raisin toast. That was breakfast before going off to school. 